everyone. In today's lecture, we will see Carnot cycle. Good morning, everyone. In today's lecture, we will see the Carnot cycle. So, the Carnot cycle involves a PV diagram. So, initially, we will see what is meant by PV diagram. The PV means pressure volume type of work occurs there and that's why diagram is called as a pressure volume diagram. And this diagram is used to describe corresponding changes in volume and pressure in a system. The PV diagram is also called as the indicator diagram and it was developed by James Watt and his employee John Southern in 1758 to 1815. To improve the efficiency of the engines and see this is the diagram of a PV diagram or the indicator diagram. So see indicator diagram in which the pressure is on y axis and on the x axis there is volume and the PV diagram involves four steps A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A and see A to B there is isothermal expansion. This arrow shows expansion. Here, adiabatic expansion from B to C and from C to D, there is a isothermal compression. And from D to A, there is an adiabatic compression. So, this is the PV diagram. And here, the temperature is higher and at the lower side, the temperature is lower. So, see, today's topic is Carnot cycle. So, we will see it in detail. See here, the Carnot cycle involves the four steps. Isothermal expansion, adiabatic expansion, isothermal compression and adiabatic compression. So, see, here, A point at which pressure is P1, volume is V1, temperature is T1. Then at B point, pressure is P2, V2. T1, V2 is a volume, T1 is a temperature. Then at point C, pressure is P3, volume is V3 and temperature is T2 because here system is cold. Then at point D, that is the pressure P4, volume V4 and temperature T2. This is isothermal compression. And then from D to A, there is adiabatic compression and system goes from lower temperature to the higher temperature. So, this is our PV diagram and now we will see the next part. So, isothermal segments AB and CD, AB and CD occur only when there is a perfect thermal contact between the working fluid and one of the reservoirs. So, that heat is needed to maintain constant temperature will flow into or out of the working fluid from or to the reservoir. So, for isothermal process, there is a requirement to maintain a constant temperature and heat will flow into the system or out of the system. And here, we have considered system is the working fluid. So, here A to B and C to D, there is isothermal process. Here, isothermal expansion and here, Isothermal compression occurs. Now, next point the adiabatic segments BC to DA occur when there is a perfect thermal insulation between the working fluid and the rest of the universe, including both reservoirs, cold and hot, thereby preventing the flow of any heat into or out of the working fluid. For the adiabatic process, the heat is constant, that is dQ is equal to 0. That's why there is an insulated system and there is no heat transfer to the system or out of the system. Now, phases of the Carnot cycle. So, Carnot cycle involves the four steps. First step is reversible isothermal expansion from A to B. This is the case at which temperature is constant and temperature is higher or the hot area is this. So, this is called as a TH. Then next segment is reversible adiabatic expansion. 
from point B to C or 2 to 3 when heat is constant that is Q is equal to 0 and temperature changes from T hot to T lower or T hot to T cold. Then our third segment is reversible isothermal compression. Obviously temperature is constant and system goes from C to D point and the temperature is lowered that is T cold. And for the fourth step, reversible adiabatic compression, it occurs from D to A or 4 to 1 when heat is constant that is Q is equal to 0 and temperature changes from lower temperature to the higher temperature. See here, at the lower side temperature is lower and here at the upper side temperature is greater. That is why here TH is there and here TL is there. Now, we will see thermal efficiency. So, for any heat engine, efficiency is important and thermal efficiency is a measure of performance of a device that uses thermal energy. For example, an internal combustion engine, a steam turbine or a steam engine, a boiler, a furnace or a refrigerator. So, these are the examples and we can measure its thermal efficiency. So, the Carnot cycle is an entirely theoretical thermodynamic cycle utilizing reversible processes. The ultimate thermal efficiency can then be used to compare the efficiencies of other cycles operating between the same two temperatures. And now, the efficiency of Carnot engine is calculated as eta. Eta represents the efficiency. Eta is equal to W divided by Q. W represents the work done and Q represents the amount of heat absorbed from the source. Also, we can write W is equal to Q1 minus Q2 where Q2 is the amount of energy rejected to the sink. Therefore, we can write eta is equal to this one q1 minus q2 divided by q so it's equal to we can write this equation as this way also 1 minus q2 upon q1 or you can use when temperature is there eta is equal to 1 minus t2 divided by t1 where temperature is t1 and T2 is the temperature of the sink. So, this is the equation of efficiency. And here are the equations of work done. So, for first two segments, AB and BC, the system work on the surrounding. In first two segments, isothermal expansion and adiabatic expansion occurs. That's why system work on the surrounding. And for second two segments, there is a isothermal compression and adiabatic compression. In the compression, the reverse process occurs surrounding wax on the system. So, our first law of thermodynamics is du is equal to dq plus dw. And for isothermal processes, change in internal energy is equal to 0. That is delta u is equal to 0. So, W cycle is equal to W means the work done and we want to calculate the work done of whole cycle that's why W cycle is equal to WCD plus WDA plus WAB plus WBC means we can write work done of AB, BC, CD and DA. So this is the part of overall work done. Then we want to calculate the heat of cycle. So for BC and DA heat is constant because of adiabatic processes that's why Q cycle is written as Q cycle is equal to QAB plus QCD and because of internal energy change is equal to 0 we can write W cycle is equal to minus in a bracket QCD plus QAB so this is the equation. When delta U is equal to 0, Q is equal to minus W. That's why or W is equal to minus Q. So, here we have written Q minus QCD 
plus q a b so this term is written in terms of the q then we want to calculate the work done in each of the four segments of the carnot cycle so i have written here all four equations for work done of four steps so w a b is equal to minus n r t where temperature is hot because isothermal expansion occurs at hot temperature so minus n r t ln of v b upon v a this is our equation of work done for isothermal expansion on this equation we have solved problem earlier where w a b is less than 0 when final volume is greater than initial volume obviously in expansion the final volume is greater than initial volume so this is the equation of the w a b then w b c for w b c we cannot use this equation we use the equation because where the heat is important heat is constant therefore equation is here w is equal to n into c v m into delta t this is the equation we have seen the molar heat capacity at constant volume into change in temperature is equal to delta t means what the temperature change t cold minus t hot here w base is less than 0 and t cold is less than t hot then the third step wcd for wcd again we use equation as first minus nrt now at isothermal compression heat is less or the temperature is less therefore work done is equal to minus nrt t is a cold into ln of vd upon vc so vd is the final volume and vc is the initial volume and vc is greater than vd then fourth step is wda again here heat is constant therefore we can write down equation in terms of the heat capacity n into cvm into delta t and here temperature change is there system moves from te cold temperature to the hot temperature therefore hot t hot minus t cold here wda is greater than zero and t hot is greater than t cold so these are the four equation which shows work done of the carnot cycle in which four steps are involved